Mr. Kennedy had become world champion. However, we ultimately delivered a title run that left something to be desired. The story continues on for Mr. Kennedy as we aim to recapture the world championship, regardless of the brand we may be on. While we may have lost the title, Mr. Kennedy's vengeance managed to strip Edge of the title despite being the man who had defeated us for it in the first place. We find ourselves still entwined with the rated R superstar, but this time he has employed the services of Candace Michelle, adding another layer to this ongoing feud. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Monday Night Raw. This is good old JR Jim Ross here at ringside with Jerry the King Lawler and King, the side of Candace Michelle, coming down to the ring with Edge must put a smile on your face. It's always great to see Candace, and I've saved her the best seat in the house. She can manage Edge from right here at the announce table. I know we're short a chair, but that's okay. I'll let her sit on my lap. That's a generous offer to be sure, King. But I think for the time being, Candace is determined to prove that she can be the advantage that Edge needs to rise to the pinnacle of the Raw roster. And I'd imagine that would involve taking a more direct role in this match than just observing it. Oh, come on. You don't really think that Candace plans to interfere in this match, do you, JR? Once again butting heads, Edge and I have become rather familiar with one another, and these encounters haven't gotten any easier. While Edge may have gotten the better of us in the last encounter, he's no longer holding the WWE title either, and his reign didn't even last a week. Sucks to be you, nerd. Edge was up to his usual shenanigans, bringing the heat as always and putting pressure on Ken Kennedy. Though something has got to be done about all these losses to this devious bastard. We've got to dig deep straight at the gate in this episode, which is not a precursor that gives me confidence going forward. Despite multiple attempts by Edge to ruin my day, we stay in the fight. However, unfortunately for us, it seems the efforts made will all be for naught. Here comes Candace! Woohoo! Daddy, do I love watching her go! Did you see that? Candace just hit it with her cute little plastic wand. Plastic wand, my sooner backside. That shot dropped in like a sack of spuds. And the wand's got to be loaded with something. So much for Candace not being an advantage for Edge. Well, she practically won the match for him. Yeah, with the help of whatever that wand was loaded with, he's still not moving. Well, look who it is. I mean, I've heard of a glass jaw there, sport. But you must have the world soft as noggin. You got KO'd last week by a piece of plastic. Piece of plastic, my ass! What's in that baton? It knocked me out cold and cost me my match! It's not a baton, it's a magic wand. And the only thing that it's loaded with is magic. Look, you wicked witch of the West! Keep that magic wand to yourself from now on. What? Wicked witch? That's it! You and me in the ring tonight! What? You gotta be kidding! I don't do bikini contests. <laughs> What the hell? I know. How about a singles match? I'll see you out there, girlfriend. Hey, what up, sexy thing? Shut up! Hey, dog, what's up? This is Big Viss. I just wanted to say, I can't believe what happened to you tonight. That's some crazy magical type stuff. Good luck on your match, though. And, uh, you know, I was wondering, maybe we could get together and, uh, have a couple of drinks after the match tonight. What do you think? I'll see you later. Alrighty then. King, in all my years in this business, I've seen a great many unexplainable things, but I don't know if I've ever seen anything like what I saw, or at least what I think I saw backstage just a few minutes ago. Now let me see if I've got this straight. Candace just used her wand to turn Edge's opponent from last week into a diva so that she could face him, or is it her, in a singles match. I can't believe I'm actually saying this, but yes, that seems to be exactly what happened, King. And I know exactly how crazy that sounds. Well, they're gonna have to send us both to the loony bin, JR, because for once, we agree on something. Preposterous, ridiculous, surreal. All those words fit, but none quite sum up what we're seeing here. I can't believe this is the same superstar Ed's face last week. Believe me, I know what you're saying. 
But if this is some kind of a trick, this girl's done her homework. This is the exact This is where things start to get bizarre, but my friends, this is only the tip of the iceberg. Despite these rather forward advances by a very aware viscera, we are going to shake out the newfound nerves and go one on one with Candace Michelle. While our appearance has been drastically altered to a state that would leave a trail of controversy today, the absolute juggernaut and former WWE champion that is Ken Kennedy is still beneath the inflated appearance that we're rocking right now. We don't discriminate when it comes to handing out the smoke, and Candace Michelle could not consider herself safe from the fury that was coming. Mrs. Kennedy picks up the victory in what would be her only appearance here. Kennedy! So how are you enjoying being a WWE diva? At first, it was kind of weird, but now, wow, look at me, I'm a perfect 10. A perfect 10? Oh please, this is what a perfect 10 looks like. I hate to tell you, you're not a perfect 10. A 9 maybe, but him, I, I mean her. You know Edge, I think even Davari could have put that better. In fact, let's find out. Check on Kenny, my man! Check on Kenny! He can sit on your man, he's there! He can see this! And check on the machine job! Check on the machine job! Whoa! We've got a rematch tonight. And like I said, you're going to see what it's like to be in the ring with the perfect 10. We just saw a number of strange events take place. But the one that still has me puzzled is Candace's comment about being a perfect 10. That's what you're worried about? Not the fact that Edge sounds like he should be coming to work on a flying carpet from now on? Bruh. That wand of hers obviously has some kind of power. And Candace must have done something to herself, but what did she do? I don't know what she needed to do, JR. She already looks like a perfect 10 to me. As out of pocket as this storyline is, there is a rather interesting factor at play here. The constant reference to the perfect 10 is actually referring to Candace Michelle's stats, meaning that she actually has the wrestling acumen of Ty Dillinger in this match. Perfect 10 in the 10th position! In all seriousness, Candice Michelle is gifted with a perfect stat line, which would make her the toughest opponent the game could provide. These ratings, paired with the legendary difficulty that has been testing us on its own, would spell disaster for Ken Kennedy. It felt weird manhandling a female at points, but it felt even weirder getting our asses whooped by the future Playboy model as we are handed a singles loss at the hands of Candice Michelle. <laughs> You know, I thought she looked a little better than usual out there. A little? King, she was wrestling better than most WWE champions. And looking a lot better, too. Oh, no, not again. You two stay the hell away from me. You're crazy. And I don't want anything to do with you. That's it, I'm out of here! Oh no you don't. I'm not done with you yet. It's my man, Boogeyman! And then I'm I'm Shimon Biggeram! Fine, whatever. I'll be in the ring. And here is, hailing from Toronto, Canada, Edge. Well, sort of. I think it's Edge, JR. But how can we be sure? I mean, is that Edge or another Boogeyman? Or was the first Boogeyman Edge? How can we tell who's who? Well, considering that we happen to be talking about Edge and the Boogeyman here, it would seem to me that the obvious suggestion would be to compare Dizzle records. Do you think Edge likes to eat worms? That's right, our next match is a handicap match against not only the Boogeyman, but also the Boogeyman. This won't be easy, but I think the strategy is clear. Try to isolate the Boogeyman, but avoid the Boogeyman. This is one of the rare instances within the story mode that we will actually go toe-to-toe -to -toe with someone in a similar overall range, so we waste no time going after the real Boogeyman, though he didn't just roll over. All in all, we were able to create an opportunity to have a one-on-one -on -one situation, and we took advantage promptly by beating the odds in this handicap match. A ladder match for Candace Michelle's magic wand? 
I suppose whoever gets it won't have to worry about any more strange transformations. And I have to wonder if Edge has any intention of sharing that wand with Candace if he wins this match. As much as I'd like to be close to Candace Michelle, I'm not sure that being turned into the boogeyman and talking like Davari is worth the price. If I was Edge, either the wand goes or I go. SummerSlam. This is a big step to getting back in the title picture, or at least I hope so, because these storylines are exhausting. We need to defeat the rated R superstar in a ladder match, who is being accompanied by Candice Michelle, despite the unease between the two that has been made apparent to us. While the climax to the story may not make a ton of sense, ladder matches are fun, and good opportunities for us to defeat a formidable opponent on a challenging difficulty. We get the win here. We can notch another pay-per-view victory onto our belt, but we are not the world champion, so the there's still work to do. Until then, check out some of the other playlists on the channel. I'll catch you in the next video. Take it easy. He'd be an idiot to give it back. That would do it for me. I'd give her anything after that. I can't tell you how glad that I am that you don't work for the Department of Defense, King. He snapped the wand in half. Finally, it's over. What a relief. You're telling me this place is crazy enough without having that sort of thing around.